I mean, it sucks that those guys are getting attacked, but that sounds like a big old not my problem. Oh my god! What is happening, my fellow degenerates? Rosary here. Today we are continuing our Days Gone Let's Play. Looks like we've got... A mission called Herod's Birthday. I think that's what it said. But it looks like we're going to be doing some more spying for our Nero scientist friend O'Brien. <laughs> and as always, this should be a fun time. I guess I should uh, go check on him. Awake. We don't have time to check on the booze, man. Deacon St. John, this is Lost Lake. Come in. Yeah, Mike, this is Deak. Heard you brought in Shane Riley, but when I went to the shack to question him, he wasn't there. Uh, yeah, uh, about that, Mike. I tried to bring him in. I really did, but he, uh, well, he put up a hell of a fight. So he didn't leave me much choice, Mike. He didn't. Said about how we do things around here. Yeah, yeah, my guy remember. Deke, you gotta hurry. Ricky, what's going on? That guy we've been looking for, Eric Lynch, who, who murdered Camel and Reed at the farm. Lynch man, son of a bitch. You know where he is? Yes, uh, yeah, he's on the North Shore at the old boat launch. Skizzle wanted to go after him, but Iron Mike said to get you. I'll get to him. Thanks, Deke. Hurry. I saw those two X's on the ground and I was like, ooh, some freshly dead bodies that I can loot. I think I will. And as I got to it, they like disappeared. Shucks. Too slow. Brian, I'm at one of your beacons, the one outside of Rogue Camp. Drifter, uh, uh, St. John, I mean, uh, copy that. Why am I here? I show, uh, Hilo incoming to that location now. Be ready. O'Brien out. Uh, psh, that's why I'm here. Why else does he call you? St. John, they should have arrived at your location. Do you see them? Yeah, yeah, kind of hard to miss. What do you need me to do? Get close to the researcher. Remember, you have to stay in their proximity or I can't intercept their data. Okay, yeah, I get it. I need the area secured now. This time, I need you to plant one of those trackers in the helo. There's a chopper. Standing I by. The helo is O'Brien. And you better have something for me. I got someone I trust working on it. We'll know soon enough. Oh, okay. We're ready to upload the data as soon as you're close. O'Brien out. So do I stick around and try to creep on the researcher? Or was that all I needed? It wasn't even my turn on the duty roster. <laughs> he said duty. Oh, that was close. How much longer do you think we got? How the hell do I know? Look out with 
Alright, it's telling me to go over here now. So, oh, more researchers. What are you guys researching? We have now 2060. We have now completed the survey of 24 nesting sites, including those at Marion Forks, the Pioneer Cemetery, the Cascade Highway Lumber Site, the truck stop on the old Belknap Road. What was that called again? Ah, uh, Crazy Willies. Yes, very rustic and touristy. Oh, I feel like it was a really bad spot. The crazy willies, they south of the Belknap Crater. No, get off. in the trash can, stupid. I'm busy or anything. The nests. What do they build? We don't know. Why do they only build them in, you know, building structures, cabins, things like that? We have a theory that. I mean, we never Ooh. see them wild animals. Trees are out in the wilderness, only houses. Have you finished? I'm sorry. The guys back at the lab have a theory. I'm sure when they're ready to talk about it, they'll come rushing down to the barracks to let you know. Just ask it. I... Ah, damn it. I was trying to be sneaky on the other side of that wall and it wasn't working for me. And Mr. Scientist over here is like power walking away from me. Yeah, I hear you. The guys back at the lab have a theory. I'm sure when they're ready to talk about it, they'll come rushing down to the barracks to let you know. Jesus. Just ask him. I see things too, you know. It wasn't always a crime. South of Belknap Crater. Some areas of the Belknap Wilderness were not surveyed due to the proximity of nesting sites to human encampments. In particular, a large camp at Salome Hot Springs. Oh, yes. Salome. On Herod's birthday, she danced before them, whereupon he promised with an oath to give her whatsoever she would ask. She said, Give me the head of John the Baptist, and the king was struck sad. Quite the name for a resort. Shit. Again, some things about the old world I don't miss. Upload complete. Jesus, this is taking forever. Uh, I don't think forever's a long time. The same Bible verses. That must be nice. Flying all over hell and gone and finding time to read. Jesus, O'Brien. Done. Okay, now I just gotta get the hell out of here before one of them spots me. Wouldn't you have nothing but time to read? It's probably having a poop. I give the poor guy a break. Captain Corey! Take Captain Corey! J just radio him, damn it! The outpost is under attack! Ah, Corporal! Gotta move out! Gotta move out! Corporal, there's more coming! Corporal! Wait, where is it taking me? I thought we were going to see Boozer, right? Yeah, okay. I mean, it sucks that those guys are getting attacked, but that sounds like a big old not my problem. Oh my god! That was... <laughs> that was very unexpected. <laughs> Rickety-ass bridge always messes me up. Uh, well, 
was I doing? I don't know if I've ever talked about this, but I do ride a motorcycle, and one of the things that's just terrible is backing up. There's no, like, reverse gear, unless you have a super fancy one. You just gotta, like, push with your legs. And if you're parked on a hill, uh, that's <laughs> not a fun time. How's it going, brother? No, Deke. I don't know about you, but uh, I could use a hand. Ah, I get it. <laughs> you lay down. Thanks, ma'am. He was in I good cheer. Just yet, but uh, I could really use a hand. Okay, I'll see you later. I'll be here. Hey, Doc, Doc, seriously, though. Um, will I be able to play piano after all this is over? Very funny, William. Lay down. <laughs> Okay. I mean, if you learn to make chords Johnson. with your toes. No, seriously, I could. I'd be like. <laughs> As you can see, he's going to be just fine. His fever is completely gone. Good, that's good. All right, well, I got to go take care Deacon, of some shit. Like I said before, William really does owe you his life. Boozer doesn't owe me shit. I owe him. Hey, I saved two more. Eddie and Mia would have died without those antibiotics. I just thought you should know. Normally, I would say there are far too many people on this planet, um, but I think in this scenario, they could probably use a few more people so good for them they saved some lives with the ill-gotten medicine that we stole oh sick getting all kinds of rewards for that one seems like he's uh, getting better All right, but that's going to be our time for today. Thank you so much for tuning in. Join us next week as I continue playing Days Gone. And as always, I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Take care. Welcome to the end of the video bit. If you enjoyed what you saw, please like, comment, and subscribe. It really does help the channel grow. Here's some other videos you might find entertaining. And while you're at it, uh, feel free to join my Facebook meme group. 